Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to sit down and play with some new makeup. I have some new Chanel, some new NARS, and a bunch of new makeup to me. So I thought we could just go ahead and do a get ready with me. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is where you get the chance to talk to me in a one-on-one -on -one video, and you really just get to ask me any beauty question you have. So to make an appointment, go ahead and click the link in the description box down below. So for today's eye look, if you enjoy warm tone, earthy type of looks, I think you're gonna love it because I have perfected this trio here of products for just like a gorgeous, perfect, neutral eye. But first, going into a bit of lip care. This is the U Beauty Lip Plasma Compound. This is a lip treatment that helps visibly plump the lips. So I always like to go into a lip mask, a lip treatment when I do my makeup. So this will just help activate while I do the rest of my face. So for the eyes, I am going into my Dior palette here by Adar. This is their summer collection. It came out like two months ago almost, but this is for the summer. So I'm going into this palette here and I'm going into this shade in particular, this gorgeous earthy chocolate color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and load up my brush here. I'm using the Angie Hot and Flashy 501. This is really great for just like a really simple look. It's gonna look like a one and done, but we're actually using a palette. So go ahead and just put a, a bunch of product on here. And then we're just going to pack this on the lid. This brush is really good to transfer color, like just to place it on the lid. But then afterwards, you can use it to go into the crease here and blend. Sometimes the more simple looks actually look the nicest. So even though this palette has five shades, you do not need to use all five at once. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side here. And I did prime my eyelids. I used the NARS eyeshadow primer. Even if I don't state it in the video, it is always there in the description box because in my opinion, it's the best eyeshadow primer. And I have these hooded eyes that are also oily. So there is literally no point to me putting on eyeshadow if I don't put on a primer because it'll just all collect in the crease in a matter of hours. So if I have anything on my eyes, even just mascara, there is the NARS eyeshadow primer working its magic somewhere. When I first got this Dior Bayada palette, I was like, okay, it looks nice, but then as I've been playing with it, it's actually so pretty. Just the finish, the colors, it's one of those palettes that kind of looks, not average, but just like very neutral, very earthy colors that, you know, they're probably gonna look nice, but then when you actually wear them, you're like, oh, this is actually gorgeous, I see. I see why I purchased it, it's so nice. So this is just one color. All I've been doing is placing it here, blending it up a little bit. It's really simple. So that's what I like. It looks gorgeous, but it's actually painfully easy. Then I'm going into a different BK Beauty brush. This is the 207. This is one of my favorites. It's this really short, kind of thick brush here, the 207. So it's really good for packing color. So sometimes I use it for what I did earlier, but it's also really good to go under the lashes here, just to connect the colors on top and bottom together. And then what I'm doing is using one of those little sponges that comes with the palette. I'm going into the peach color up here and I'm just going to place a little bit on the inner corner just to add a little bit of brightness. So earlier, earlier I mentioned a trio. So the trio involves this eyeshadow palette here and two eyeliners. The Sicily Fito something, Fito Cole Star Eyeliner in the shade number two, Matte Tonka. It's a matte, rich, espresso, 
chocolate shade. So if you want a color that's going to match your earth tone, neutral, bronze, copper, brown eyeshadows, this is great. And then it's going to be followed with, and this is very important, this is the Bare Minerals Eyeliner in the shade Copper. It offers a little bit of shimmer, but it's not glitter, it's not too flashy, it's just going to offer a beautiful lightness, it's going to be very nice. So. We're using the Sisley one first, and we're going to use more of this. Sisley is going into the top waterline here. This is waterproof. It's not as buttery as the Victoria Beckham. Those ones are like butter in a stick format, but it's a very creamy liner and it's waterproof, so it's not going to budge. So we're placing it here in the waterline first. Then we're going to trace a thin line on top in the lashes here. Once that's done, we're going to trace under the lashes here. So just in the lash line on the bottom, like that. And then you can use the BK Beauty 207 from before just to help smudge it out. Now, using the Bare Minerals Copper, this, if I can get it open, yes, there we go. We're going to place this in the bottom waterline here so inside here so this is the trio the sicily number no. two the bare minerals copper and then the dior bayadar this combination is so nice it's natural like you're wearing makeup but it's not flashy it's subtle but at the same time it's so gorgeous and that little copper and the waterline just adds like a little bit of depth, mystery, a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shine, not too much. It's just a really perfect combination. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and be right back. So for the mascara, I have a sample here of the Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Ilia Cosmetics, but I know that they're around. So I got a sample when I ordered something from Sephora. So I may as well give this a try. The wand is nice. It looks very thick. So hopefully it gives me lots of volume. All right. So let's move on to the complexion. Now I have a new liquid highlighter here from Rodeal. This is the Banana Low Lighter lit from within. So you can use this on your under eye and just use it as a regular a liquid highlighter. What's interesting about this is that it's shimmer free. So it doesn't have any of the glitter, the chunky sparkle, whatever. It's literally just a highlighter but without any of the shimmer. So you can place it around your under eye and it doesn't get into the little fine lines and creases. Now, the wand actually gives you quite a bit of product. So what I do is I actually start off by going on the temples first because there is just like a lot of product. And then you can go ahead and add like a tiny bit here just to brighten up a little bit. And then, you know, wherever you would naturally place a liquid highlighter. Now, this is a MAC brush here that I've owned for quite some time. I don't know off the top of my head what the number is, but... I will include it in the description box. So this is the product here. I think maybe I put a little bit too much on my forehead here, but we'll blend it out and add a bit of complexion touch after. So as you can see, it offers highlight, but without any shimmer whatsoever i think i added too much oops oh well let's just roll with it uh now i'm going into my chanel complexion touch i'm in the shade 40 for my complexion and then i'll use 30 for the concealer so here as always i'm going to do two pumps here put it on the back of the hand and break it down like this and then just blend it out. At first I thought that this little brush would be tedious, but it's actually really good for blending. It works quite nicely, and especially for the concealer afterwards, it's so good. It's just, it's so precise. 
Okay, now a little touch of number 30. I feel like with this, a little bit goes a long way. That's probably more, oops. That's probably more than enough that I need. So using the other brush for this, I'm also breaking it down and then placing it with the banana. It's called a low lighter, I don't know why. I guess because it doesn't have shimmer to it, so it's different than a regular liquid, liquid highlighter, but it's really nice just to brighten without adding like chunky glitter. I like this combination because it looks very natural. The water fresh tint, if you have very dry under eye, try using one of the lighter colors as a concealer because it's just so much water and the banana low light brightens without any sort of glitter particles, which is nice. I hadn't thought of it until someone, one of you mentioned it to me like in a DM conversation on Instagram that a lot of the liquid highlighters like settle into fine lines, you know, uh, but this is the type of product. I don't know why they don't make more of this. Like this is great. Like it's brightening without a chunky glitter because who needs that? Okay, moving on to a bronzer. I have the new NARS cream bronzer. This is Laguna number no. two. So this is for like medium skin tone, light to medium, I think. There are five or six shades to choose from. So I'm number two here. And I also have the brush that comes with. It's one of these brushes that I love for bronzer that's like cut at an angle. So it just like fits in perfectly. So let's go ahead and add a bit of cream and bronzer. I'm going in really lightly because bronzer is so much easier to add than it is to remove. And especially with bronzer, it can look like way too much really fast, but this is really nice. I don't know. I haven't used that many cream bronzers. I think I often gravitate towards powder, but I can see the appeal because it looks so natural, you know, like it just melts into the skin. It just fades in so seamlessly so fast. So I'm just sort of dipping in like this, starting off back here very lightly. Like I'm not pushing in. I'm just very lightly just blending it and then just sort of stippling at the same time. Hmm. Well, I may be converted to cream bronzer because I just love how beautiful this looks, especially with the complexion touch. The fact that my complexion is very light and luminous and then the bronzer is also a cream, so it's not very mattifying. It's just very luminous, very natural. Even if you did like a very light no makeup look, you could probably just use this, even if you had bare skin without any like foundation, you know, even though the complexion touch is very light. I don't know, I'm just like, hmm. I'm very impressed. So again, this is Laguna number two. I think Laguna is one of those cult status bronzers. Like NARS is a lot of cult status products. And I think the original Laguna bronzer, the powder, is one of those items and I, I totally get it. Wow, this is really pretty. So for the blush, I kind of want to go into something a little bit pink, just something very sweet and very light. So I have one of the new Benefit Cosmetics blushes in Dandelion. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I'm a little surprised with how much I like this because I thought that this would be way too light. I was like, I'll give it a go. Worst case, I add a different blush, but it's just like a light pink. It's not too flashy. I don't look like I was outside sweating, you know, like too flush. It's just a nice soft pink, very pretty. And if you've noticed also my manicure, I have been testing out the new Chanel uh, what is this one? Uh, blanc écume. That means like, you know, at the, um, when you go to the sea at the beach, there's that white foam. That white foam is called écume. So this is the nail polish here for the summer collection. This is day five, I believe, and it's holding up nicely. It's a good color. I'm doing like a base coat, two coats and a top coat. That's my traditional recipe for nail polish wearing. And it's gorgeous. If you like white nail polish, 
run, don't walk. It's gorgeous. I love it. So I'm testing out, oops, sorry. I'm testing out this one here and then next week I'll test out the CC green, but I think the CC green, just when I was swatching on like a scotch tape was a little bit more sheer. So I think I might have to do three coats for that. But anyway, um, for the lips, I want to keep it very light. I have a new lip obsession. This is the Chanel number no. one lip and cheek balm collection. This is number two. This is healthy pink. It is just like the nicest, softest, prettiest your lip but better in a nice nudie pink. Like if you like nude lips, you would love this as like your lip color. So just go like this. You could also add a lip liner, like a nude lip, lip liner, like there's one called like natural, something very your lip but better. Just do a lip liner first if you wanted to, and then throw this on. The lip, I just think it looks so gorgeous. Like whenever I wear this, I'm like, ooh, that's so pretty. Like my pout looks juicy and voluminous, and it's just like the right pink without being too flashy too cool it's just so nice and i think just this whole look looks so nice like this trio that i talked about the eyeshadow and those two eyeliners try the combination out you're really going to love it it's just the, they complement each other so well and just this entire look i'm in love with it's been something that i've been practicing like off camera for a few like i don't know a couple of weeks if you've looked at my description boxes from the past several videos there's been a lot of this combination going on and i just love this whole look it's very chic you look really put together really nice but you're not wearing like a heavy inch of makeup in the summer you look great gorgeous love it this is 100 my type of look so leave a comment down below let me know what you think what other makeup do you want to see on my channel in the near future because there's always so many releases if you are returning to my channel thank you so much for joining us and for enjoying the content here and if you're new to my channel maybe consider subscribing i do a lot of luxury makeup reviews and tutorials and i tend to revisit a lot of old favorites so i give you lots of ideas and new inspiration on how to use up what you already own so I think on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you all so much for stopping. Bye. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.